Pop Tech family, meet Tracy. She's 26 years old, lives on the south side of Chicago, and makes 10 bucks an hour. No health insurance. Now last year, she had a major toothache and needed to see a dentist. But first, she needed to find an affordable dentist. So she did what most of us do. She first went online. And while she found rating sites and review sites, she couldn't find any information about the doctor's prices. Now, even when she would call the doctor's offices directly, she couldn't get a straight answer as to how much her routine visit would cost. So she went to a nearby dentist, and she had two cavities filled. On the way out the door, she was presented with a bill. $1,300. Now, it took Tracy more than a year to pay off this debt. What Tracy didn't know, what she really couldn't know, is that right across the street and a block over, there was a board-certified dentist with 12 years of experience who had done the exact same procedures for nearly $1,000 less. This is a huge problem in healthcare. Whether you're getting a dental exam, an eye exam, an MRI, or a vaccination, prices are completely hidden, yet they're all over the map. Now, I can understand being afraid to go to the dentist. I'm terrified of the dentist. You probably are too. But for Tracy and millions like her, she's not afraid of the dentist's drill. She's afraid of the bill. I'm Ture McCluskey, founder of OK Copay. And I believe that we all have a right to know. We have a right to know upfront what our medical provider options are and how much our costs, our costs of care will be. Now, I worked for a number of years in the pharma industry in pricing strategy, which I was very good at. And it's actually pretty easy to do if you, uh, in pricing strategy. So what we do is we just increase costs every year, and that's the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> And everything was going great. I was, had a very good career. And then uh, one Thanksgiving a few years back, my grandma, who's on about 10 medications, pulled me aside. And I'll never forget it. She said, Ture, my medical bills are too darn high. Can you do something? Can you do something? Well, I don't know about y'all, but when my grandma asked me to do something, I do it. So I left that job a few months later with one burning question. How can we lower costs? How can we can increase access for people like my grandma and Tracy, but at the same time lower systemic costs? There are over 100 million Americans who don't have access to either vision, dental, or health insurance. Americans. Now they need help today. Not 10 years from now, not two years from now, but today. And just as a side note, the Affordable Care Act will be implemented, fully implemented uh, in two years. That number won't dramatically change, and I'll tell you why uh, after the talk if you want to see me. So this is a huge, massive problem, very complex, multivariable. Uh, it takes thousands of us working together to solve this problem. But a more specific question is how can we create choice? I can do this. I can do it through information. Now think about it. The last time you bought a TV, a rental car, an airline ticket, a purse, a latte, a can of beans, you have upfront, clear pricing information through menus and through price tags. Why can't we have price tags in healthcare? So imagine if everyone had the ability to compare their local provider on the basis of price, convenience, and credentials. That's OK Copay. And I think it's really cool. Uh, basically, what you do is you tell me what the, the, the procedure that you need, and I'll show you your options. So Tracy, just a month ago, needed new contact lenses. And instead of just walking to the nearest optometrist, she went to OK Copay first. And this is what she found, information. And through information, she found choice. And through choice, she found a great doctor at a great price. This is revolutionary in healthcare. This means more days worked, less ER visits, less bankruptcy. 
So I'll leave you with one big question. This is how you can contact me. How can we collaborate together? How can we make this healthcare system that's great for some of us become great for all of us? Thank you.